it was a good weekend. Again, uh, on the men's side, you know, we run the 8,000 meter race at conference, and this was the first week we had an opportunity to run that distance. And so, anytime you jump up and run that race at that distance, you're always going to have a little bit of uh, curiosity on how the freshmen are going to handle it. In high school, they run 5,000 meters, and so it's a big jump uh, to go to, to an 8K race. And they did a terrific job. Brett Egan, again, uh, third win in a row, so you can't ask for much more than that. He just continues to improve on a week-to-week -week basis, and we're excited about that. He's a, he's a senior from Wakan, Iowa, and uh, he's just a, a hard-working kid. He was, he's a talented runner in high school. He was a state champion in track uh, in the mile when he was a senior. But just the amount of work he put in this summer has been terrific, and he's always been uh, a really tough competitor. And what I like about him the most is he always puts himself in position to, to win the race. And, and whether he feels great or doesn't feel great, he's just always going to be in the right position to, to be where he needs to be. And so uh, expecting him to have a good year. He was all-conference as a sophomore and uh, was all-conference in track last year in the 5,000-meter uh, run. And so he's just been one of those consistent performers for us uh, year in, year out. Uh, Zach Bukite, freshman out of Pella, did a terrific job this weekend as well. Uh, he went out with the leaders, which was a little uh, risky, in my opinion, at the beginning. And so he, he was able to endure a little bit more pain than maybe he would have. Uh, but he did a terrific job in handling it. He came back and did a terrific race for his first 8K race. And uh, we're excited uh, where he's at as well. And so it was nice to see the, the back half of the, of the group uh, improve this week as well. They really worked well together. And we're excited about this coming weekend. We're going to go to Loyola, Chicago, uh, for a meet right there on Lake Michigan. And uh, any, it's going to be a great opportunity for us because you get a chance to kind of iron out the, the 8K feel and what that was like and make some different adjustments on the race plan. So uh, we're looking forward to going to Chicago this weekend. On the women's side, uh, we run the 5K uh, this weekend, which is the distance we run at conference. So it was the first time we had a chance to run at that distance as well. So uh, that's, that's always a good thing. And Allison Fick, again, uh, just continues to improve at a, a rapid rate. She um, ran on 45 second PR this weekend, uh, which is uh, terrific. And so Allison, her story is such a great story because her first year here, uh, our whole goal for her was just to get through a season without being injured. Uh, she was she was injured all the time in high school, and we didn't have any kind of performance goals for her at all. And now for her to be in a position where she can be a top 10 finisher at the conference meet and score points for us, it's just been a terrific uh, thing for me as a coach to witness the development she's gone through and, and couldn't happen to a, a greater person. Uh, Haley Thomas, another great race for her this weekend as well. And I think the most I was excited about this weekend on the women's side was uh, our number three through uh, seven runners all did a really nice job of staying close together. We saw some really big improvement there. And so uh, just looking to continue to improve this week, go to Chicago and uh, hit another really good meet over there.